everyone, welcome to Beyond the Thousand Days. My name is Sonia, and this video is about frequently asked questions. Things people ask me all the time. And if you've looked at any other videos, you're probably wondering even more, who is this girl? First question I get asked is, where are you from? I was born and raised in New York City. My family is from Guyana, South America. They came to the U.S. when they were quite young and got married in the U.S. and so I was born in New York City. And I grew up in New York City all the way through college until I decided to go on the longest sea voyage in history. What is the Thousand Day Voyage, also known as the longest sea voyage in history? Well, my partner Reed Stowe conceived of going to sea for a thousand days non-stop, without resupplying. He wanted to go to sea for as long as he could, without going anywhere, as in visiting land, just being on the sea, following the winds and currents, and living there for as long as he could. So he decided he would go for a thousand days without stopping or resupplying. It would be the longest sea voyage in history. As he was preparing for this voyage, I met him in New York City. And a few years after I met him, I decided that I wanted to go on this sea voyage also. So the two of us left together in 2007 and a series of events occurred. I got off the boat one year into the voyage because I was having my son Darshan and two years later he completed his thousand days except he did 1,152 days non-stop at sea without resupplying and then he came back sailed back to New York City and met his son for the first time. We have a lot of interviews and videos about this if you want to just do a quick search on YouTube or check out our link below beyondthethousanddays.com There's an outline of the whole thousand day voyage where you can learn a lot more about it. Why would I ever want to go a thousand days at sea non-stop? Especially since I'm not really a sailor. I didn't have any sailing experience when I got on the schooner in and decided to go out to sea for three years without stopping. I wanted to go to sea because I thought it was a really interesting idea to get away from all of civilization and in my case from the city, the buzz, the stress, the rat race that it could be in Manhattan, in, in the city in general. I wanted to get away from all that and this was an interesting way to do that. I also like the water and um, I wanted to be on the water. I was looking how I might have some kind of job on the water, but I wasn't finding anything that I really liked um, that resonated with me. Having known Reed for two years at the point, or a little more than two years, at the point when I told him that I wanted to go with him uh, on the Thousand Day Voyage, I was just very much looking at what can I do with my life? What can I do next? What is different? What is exciting? Because I felt that, okay, I had finished school, gone to college, got my degree in photography. Um, what next? What did I want to do? And I thought that going to sea would be a really cool thing to do. I wasn't afraid of being by myself. I wasn't afraid of being away from people and all the things that people need, the entertainment, the um, internet, which wasn't as invasive as it is now back in 2006 when I decided I wanted to go. At that point, I had a pretty strong spiritual practice already and the thought of being isolated in nature and um, surrendering to whatever happens, happens, was really appealing to me. Yes, it was a very dangerous thing to do and I don't know if at this point in my life I'd be able to do something like that, but I certainly don't regret doing it and it, everything worked out great. 
going to see and stepping out of the box, stepping out of convention, just being away from the standards of society really opened my mind in ways I could not have imagined. Because in nature, no one cares how you dress or how you speak or how you um, eat or any of the things that you have to do properly. And yet, nature does care how you treat it, what kind of thoughts you put out there, whether you, you're putting out good energy, whether you're being creative, whether you're being your best. I mean, your mind is totally reflected when you're at sea. The ocean reflects your thoughts back to you. That's a gift that I wouldn't trade for the world. And I'm glad I went on the thousand day voyage. I'm glad that I got to step outside the box and see what it looks like. And I think it's true that once you've done that, you can never go back in the box. How long has me and Reed been together? Well, we met in 2003 and we got together in 2006. So we've been together uh, about 11 years now and we've known each other for about 14 years. Yeah, 14 years. How old are you? <laughs> Well, it's 2017, I'm 33 years old. I was 24 years old when I had my son, and so he's about eight and a half years old now. Has Darshan ever been to sea? Yes, he has. He went with us on our voyage down to Guyana, South America, where we were gonna rebuild the boat after the longest sea voyage in history, and he had a great time. I'll leave the link in the description box below of that voyage. Check it out. He's there on the boat, totally having fun. That was his first time at sea. He did pretty well, and I hope he remembers it now. <laughs> what are you and Reed doing now? We're here in North Carolina now, uh, taking care of Reed's father, who has Alzheimer's. And so the majority of our time is kind of spent home in the suburbs, totally different environment than being on the ocean or living in the city but it's actually been pretty good a very productive time for both of us i'm making videos now and blogging reed is making art still and keeping up with the boat writing a lot and just doing what reed has always done art sailing boat stuff we don't know how long we'll be here but certainly our adventure days are not over yet When is your next adventure? Well, we don't have any plans for another boat adventure at the moment. So right now, it's family time. Um, we're living in a house in North Carolina and the boat is anchored on the Cape Fear River on the coast, which is a few hours away from where we are now. I hope you enjoyed this video about frequently asked questions. And if you have any other questions that I haven't answered, Leave them in the comments below and maybe I'll make another video. See you next time.